Welcome to a boiling hot Texas-style new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. I hope you're all managing to stay nice and warm during these winter months, curl up with that electric blanket, and grab the perfect spoon to stir your hot chocolate as we discuss a demon who's very skilled in keeping things hot, because today, we're talking about Ukabak. Ukubok, or Orobok as it's known in some translations, primarily exists in the field of demonology, and as far as I could tell, isn't really mentioned by name, or even at all, in any biblical texts. Ukubok is best known as one of the many, many, many demons highlighted in the Dictionnaire Infernal, or translated, the Infernal Dictionary. This classic book of demonology was written by... I'm so sorry I'm gonna butcher this... Jacques Albin Simon Colin de Plancy in 1818, and while it went through several different versions, the most famous is the 6th edition from 1863, which added illustrations of many of the demons, including Ukabak. This low-ranking demon has one very specific job, and that is to work the boilers in the depths of hell and keep them burning. Part of his job is creating the crude oil needed to keep these flames going, and Ukubok makes this oil out of the very souls of the damned, adding an extra bit of torture on top of the already fiery hellscape. But just because Ukubok works hard doesn't mean this fire-loving demon can't find the time to explore his passion projects like cooking or arts and crafts, as according to Colin de Plancy's book, Ukubok was the inventor of fireworks as well as all fried food. No wonder some of the texts say he's a loyal servant of Beelzebub, because of course the demonic representative of gluttony would gleefully hire the demon that gave us jalapeno poppers and funnel cake. An extra note regarding Ukubok seems to come from famed occult author Rosemary Guiley, who in 2009 published the Encyclopedia of Demons and Demonology. In this work, an added feature of Ukubok is that he is the one who crafted the eternally burning flame that was given to Jack O'Lantern after his expulsion from hell. And if you'd like to learn more about that story, feel free to check out the episode I did a few months back on Pyrojack. Ukubok's compendium entry from Persona 4 refers to it as a subordinate demon of hell ordered by Beelzebub to stoke the fires that heat its iron pots. He also throws coals into the fire to torment humans trapped in hell. Design-wise, like a couple of other demons in the franchise, Kaneko's design is essentially ripped right from that 1863 edition of the Infernal Dictionary, and his design is nearly identical to how he was portrayed by legendary demonic artist Louis Breton. From the diminutive size to the flaming spoon, nearly every detail was taken straight from real sources in demonology. One of the most interesting facets of Ukubok's design is in its face. Its eyes, ears, nose, and lips are all greatly exaggerated, and supposedly the reasoning behind this was to highlight that as the eternal watchdog and worker of Hell's Furnaces, Ukubok was required to have incredibly heightened senses, which are symbolically represented through these hyperbolic features. It's like when the Big Bad Wolf in Red Riding Hood says that its big ears are all the better to hear with. And that is really about it for design, so moving on. As far as game history goes, Ukubok is best known as one of the most iconic demon partners of Raido Kuzunoha the 14th. While most Megaton games start you off with a pixie or something similar, in Devil Summoner, Raido Kuzunoha vs. the Soulless Army, while going through the trials of the training hall to earn his title, Raido recruits Ukubok and uses his fire powers to take down a gaggle of zombies. Ukubok returned in Devil Summoner 2, Raido Kuzunoha vs. King Abaddon, as one of the demons that will automatically join up with Raido if players load in save data from Soulless Army at the start of their playthrough. Aside from that, Ukubok has a unique conversation with one of the most powerful demons in the game, Masakado, where Ukubok tries to talk tough to the fighter and... it does not go well for him. Aside from his roles in the Megami Tensei series, Ukubok has a small cameo appearance in the Atlas fighting game Groove on Fight, which is the fourth entry in the Power Instinct series. The final boss of the game, the Dark Summoner Bristol D, will summon Ukubok as part of his moveset, making this technically the first instance of a Devil Summoner commanding Ukubok, and may have led to his role in the Raido games. Despite his prominence in the later Devil Summoner games though, Ukubok does not appear as one of Raido's demons in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, but hopefully he'll be returning to the series very soon. And so there you have- oh, wait. In Revelations Persona, Ukubok was known as Grub, so that's a thing. 
And so there you have it, Ukubok, the forge fiddling, fire flinging, fry cook of fireworks. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I'll see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.